Well, my first customer is a hedge trimmer. I got to clean them up so that nasty. And then this lady right here brought me three kitchen knives. A little old hankle it looks like. Uh, I can't make out what this is. This looks like a Hankel International. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And she's in bad shape. Okay, I'll get back to you. Got them. Grand Forks. Mm. IOX. Some kitchen knives. And a gathering of knives. Damn. I got two towels, three towels full of knives I haven't even got to you yet. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? One set of hedge trimmers. What can I do? I have, a, like I said, I think I told you I have an hour wait. I told this lady I'd kind of work her in, but I've got two knives here. I've got a big pair of gingers over there. I got homework. People couldn't wait. I got four knives in there, a pair of hedge trimmers and a pruner. I'm going to take home and shop and bring back tomorrow. And I don't know. This tile right here is loaded with knives. I don't know. I haven't even been in. I'm, I'm scared of looking there. Man, I can't believe it. I'll get back to you. I brought two of them. This is the last towel right here, other than a towel that just came in. Then I got this book. You remember two weeks ago I did one for a guy? This is he brought me another one. Look at it. Great balls of fire. That's the last hour. Well, he hasn't been in that yet. And I have a lady right here with a few more knives. Stand by. Six fifty-one. Got nine minutes. I'm finished. As far as what I had to do. But in here, I don't know if I ever get finished. I've got a uh, one set of trimmers, a lawnmower blade, another set of trimmers. I think there's three knives in here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in here, and another set of trimmers. So I'll be a busy a boy tomorrow morning getting these tiquitos ready. See you later. Oh my god, a microgrocery pill. I, I need one. Oh, hi everybody, how you doing? Amongst all the chaos, I was able to get to Full Quiver this afternoon before they closed and got some more pork chops. Some corn. My son has fixed the pork chops for us. Mm, we got something in here. I don't know what's in here. Broccoli. What do you think of that, big old Jack? Ooh, I like it. What do you think about that, India? I like pork chops. I think Chris must be fixing something else in here. What is she doing? Tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Oh, Chris is slicing up tomatoes. Good thing the knife is sharp, right? That's right. <laughs> well, it's Thursday morning, about nine. It's a continuation from yesterday. I mean, Friday morning. Where am I at? <laughs> Let's see. This is homework we had to bring home that we didn't have time to finish yesterday. We got four emperor knives from Japan. Well, I take it back three, and this baby right here is a Faberware saw blade knife. And we've got a big pair of hedge trimmers. I got to take those apart to sharpen them and clean them up. And we got a big lawnmower blade. I won't say big, but. Tons of grass on it from years and years of never. But it's not in bad shape. The guy must have a beautiful yard. I mean, look at that. It's not a hardly a nick or nothing in the blade. 
it's not often you pick up one that looks as good as that. And next we have two shuns, serrated shuns. Shuns, I'm sorry. And one serrated Henkel. And then we got another set of hedge trimmers along with a pair of pruners. Now these were designed to go back today. They were there. The lady dropped them off. Said, "I don't need them for a couple of days, so you can get them back to me when you can." I said, "Okay." So she was my first, uh, you know, next day customer. And the rest of them were just couldn't wait because it had so many knives. And then the last customer is Chicago Cutlery, Hampton Forge, China. Okay, I think I'm going to do the lawnmower blade first and the two hedge trimmers and then knock out the other stuff and then make some deliveries. I'll get back to you. It was a good knife day yesterday. Better than I expected. But that little market over there on Thursday, you know, being inside a community like that, we've determined that the other markets, if you're not in or near a community, you don't normally do near as well. Uh, like the 19th Street Market. I do fairly good there, but nothing like I do here or at East Beach because they're right in the communities. And the tractor supplies place, for example, is a very hit and a miss place. Uh, this knife business is a funny business. All right, I'll get back to y'all. Uh, no, apparently no mumbles reports from anybody yesterday. They, everybody either stayed in or didn't find anything to report. So it must have been bleak. I'll get back to you on that too. Well, it's Friday about 4 o'clock. I just got back from delivering all the knives from yesterday. But the Thursday knife saga continues. When I dropped off two of the sets of knives, two different places, look what I got. I got one, two, three, Four, four sets of pruners from one lady. I got three serrated knives, a saw blade knife, a chef's knife, Dexter Boner style knife, international and an international hangle. That's from the lady who had the towel with about 15 knives in it, which we only ended up doing three because she was time constraints. These are knives from where she works. She works for a daycare. And these are the knives that they use in the daycare. <laughs> nice as a Would you ever believe it? I sit back sometimes and wonder. In amazement. Okay, I put them back in the bag and work on them tomorrow. I gotta load my truck up now. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Still no reports from the land of Nada. <laughs>